Okay, so I'm back again because after I did the last video on the wise band and I show you the step-by-step -step details of the app, I did an update and guess what? They've added a few things. So I'm gonna cover those things in this video. Okay, so let's go directly into the app and get the show on the road. So let's go from the top and work our way down to the bottom because they've added some stuff, not just on the front part of the app, but also into the settings. So on the first one, of course, you know, it's the clock face. I didn't see any changes here, so it seemed like they didn't do an improvement. The next one down is activities. That pretty much looks the same too. Calories, sleep, heart rate, and run. If we go down to the next one, we got heart rate. That one looks the same. It just looks like, you know, during the day, it looks like my heart rate went up to 138 about 10 a.m. That's pretty much when I'm at work running around trying to get things done. The weather still looks the same. I don't see any difference there. If we go down to the next one, which is run, pretty much looks the same there too. Alarms, same thing. If we go down to fine, same. The next, settings. Now in the settings, there are some changes. Now you can slide upward to unlock the device. So this feature wasn't here before. And now it has sedentary reminder. So it'll tell you to get up if you're sitting for too long because that's not healthy. And they've added daily goals. So now you can set how many steps that you want to do in a day. And then everything else pretty much stayed the same. The brightness, the night mode, and the time zone. Now in the last video, settings was the last thing at the bottom. Now you can go down a little bit further and you can access your Amazon voice assistant feature. If you go into here, there's nothing there to change. This feature was actually in settings. They pretty much move a tile to the front so you can access it easier. And they also did that for notifications. So instead of going to the settings to access notifications, you can click that tile on the front screen and it's going to take you into the same settings that you did like I showed you in the last video. And then if you go down to the plus at the bottom, now you have the option to move or take away these features because they've added the Amazon Assistant and the notification. You have the option to shuffle them around or delete them and move them down to more functions. So those are the features that added to the app and the band that wasn't in the last video. I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna add some more clock faces and other settings that you can adjust as time goes by. So whenever they roll out new future updates, I will make sure I try to keep you updated. Until then, have a good one and I'll see you next time.